Bicycle Rodeo and Safety Day for children. We're going back to school to help educate them to make sure their bicycle routes are safe. Today we have Lake City Police Department. We're, we're putting on the actual rodeo, the bicycle rodeo, the event, and we have um, sponsored by Lake City Mall. With Janice uh, Dormany is, is the manager who's also helping putting it, put this on. We have the Columbia County Sheriff's Department who is also out here um, helping educate children about bicycle safety. We have the Girl Scouts. They're going to be cooking hot dogs. They're um, also helping educate um, children as far as back to school safety goes. We also have the Lake City Fire Department and along with the uh, lifeguard. They're getting tours of their ambulance. Officer Lee is over here uh, demonstrating, the, uh, teaching the kids. He's the one that's actually educating them. He has been through um, a police certified um, actual bicycle course. He's certified okay. in uh, teaching. That's the guy on the bicycle? Yes. Okay. That's Officer Lee. The course set up today uh, teaches a set of, of basic skills, including uh, turns, uh, obstacle avoidance, um, making turns at intersections, um, how to look for other vehicles and other uh, obstructions, other hazards, um, and where to properly position your bicycle in relation to the roads and the intersection. In the state of Florida, that requires you to make a, a signal with your hands if you don't have an electronic signal device, which obviously bicycles aren't going to have turn signals, like a motorcycle or a car might. Um, so the fallback is you need to use your hands, and that again falls back to the safety aspect I was talking about earlier, making sure the other, other cars, other bicycles, other pedestrians on the road know what you're going to do. If they can anticipate your movements, then they can make their movements accordingly it's safer and they're not going to, you know, it's going to cut down on the number of crashes. Um, if you're going to make a left hand turn, basically you're just going to stick your left hand straight out. Used to be there were other signals, but uh, it's actually simplified now. Now if you're going to make a right hand turn, you just stick your right hand straight out. So whichever way you're turning, you just use that hand and you just signal the direction you're going to want to turn. If one hand is not free and you want to signal a right hand turn with your left hand, you bring it up. Uh, and then if you're going to signal to stop, it's either hand, whichever hand you've got available, whichever hand is facing the side of traffic typically, is just going to go down into a stop sign. In general right now, obviously, you know, we're just wrapping up summer, school's getting back started, we're going to have kids riding back and forth from school, mm -hmm. uh, so it's important that the children know, you know, how to, how to ride their bike safely. Uh, in Florida, a bicycle can ride on the sidewalk or on the road. Um, Obviously here in Lake City we have some roads with bike lanes. If they're going to be on the road, they need to be in the bike lane. If, they're not, if there's not a marked bike lane, they need to stay as far right as possible. Florida law requires anyone under the age of 16 on a bicycle to wear their bicycle helmet. Uh, it's recommended anybody wear a bicycle helmet. As you saw earlier, I, you know, I've got mine on. It's just it's safety. If you're going to fall and you're going to hit your head, you know, the head's a very fragile part of the body. If you're under 16, you can get a citation. Um, for not wearing it. More importantly, obviously, you know, if I stop someone her age and she's not wearing her helmet, it's, it's education. Uh, you know, we're going to explain. We've got events like this throughout the year where we give away bicycle helmets. Um, you know, we've got different various merchants throughout town that sell bicycle helmets at very reasonable prices. Um, it's, it's a very, for the, for the amount of protection that you gain from protecting your head with a bicycle helmet, the cost is, 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 is uh, a good value, I guess, for the amount of protection you're going to get. Um, because that's the number one injury, that, that the most severe injury that you can get from uh, a bicycle crash if your head's unprotected is going to be it's going to be head trauma of one form or another. Are you getting this on camera? Yes, I am. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 o